Hello YouTube, this is Jean and welcome to my channel CryptoPigs. So today I wanted to do a quick video letting you know that not all coins are actually on sale. It's easy to look at a coin and think, wow, look at its value in Tether, it's so cheap right now, get super excited and then go buy it. While still being in the negative when this coin increases in the dollar amount. So it goes from 60 cents to 90 cents and you're still in the negative and you're just baffled. What is going on? I bought it at 60 cents. Should be a 30% increase. A best example of this is BQX. So, so BQX, I'm going to use August 29th as my example. On August 29th, it was 20,000 Satoshis at 89 cents, about 90 cents, just to make it easy. And earlier today, it was also 20,000 Satoshis at 66 cents. So if you're looking at the dollar amount, this is obviously way cheaper, almost 30 cents cheaper, which is a huge number. Well, the dollar price is super misleading. So when Bitcoin decreases, so does the value of the coin in terms of dollar. But that doesn't mean it's on sale. So if you look... As I said earlier, 60 cents was 20,000 Satoshis, 75 is still 20,000 Satoshis. You didn't make a 14 cent profit on each of your BQX. You're actually still at the same profit. This is what I'm trying, trying to show you guys. Therefore, BQX was never actually really on sale, except for maybe right here at 17,000 Satoshis, but still wasn't a huge sale. A good example of one that was on sale is the 0x. So again, let's go back to August 29th. BQX got to 8,000 Satoshis, 35 cents. You can verify that this was on sale because the Satoshis are now floating around 5,400. So yeah, the dollar has changed significantly, 15 cents, which is a huge amount when 35 cents was the cap. But this is where you really want to look. So 5,400 is obviously way lower than 8,000. So in my opinion, this coin, 0x, would have been a much wiser coin to jump into based on the sales that were going on earlier and possibly still right now. So with that, there are still a few promising coins that are still on sale that I recommend checking out. First is 10x. On August 29th, 10x reached about 92,000 Satoshis. Right now is about 55,000. That's almost a two times gain on your money when it, when, not if, when it reaches its August 29th price again. Another example is Quantum. So on August 29th again, Quantum reached 40,000 Satoshis, 400. 404,000, sorry, not 40,000. Right now it's at 240,000. So again, that's actually a pretty big leap when it reaches to its August 29th price. Another and my final coin I recommend you checking is Waves. So Waves is actually kind of shooting up right now. On August 29th, Waves was about 12. 125,000 Satoshis and is now 100,000. So it's not as big a jump as the previous two, but this is still a discounted price that you still want to look because Waves is a very promising coin, in my opinion. Now let's check out those main coins that aren't on sale. And even though it, it actually looks like it, if you look at the dollar. First is Lisk. So Lisk on August 29th and before this crash was around 159,000 Satoshis. Right now is 150,000. So it is a little bit on its sale, but it's it's not that big of a sale where you're thinking, I've got to jump in. This is like the perfect time. Next coin is OMG. Now everybody keeps talking about we got to jump in on OMG. I actually did also, which I, I still think it's a great coin, so it's it's not a bad one to jump into. Just it wasn't on sale, at least not as much as people were thinking. So August 29th, this one was August 29th, 200,000 Satoshis. 
it's 275,000. It actually went up quite a bit since this dip. That's crazy. The market went down and OMG went up. Again, it doesn't look like it price-wise because it looked like it was at, what, $10, $11, it hit $12. So in terms of dollar sign, it looks like it went down, but it actually went up a lot. So this is a prime example of how misleading the dollar amount can be. And I'm just trying to trying to educate you guys so you don't make a wrong decision and then wonder why you're not making the profits you thought you would. Anyways, thanks everyone for watching. This has been my tip on how to tell if a coin is actually on sale or if it's just an illusion. Also, if you enjoyed this video or found it useful, please let me know. Like and subscribe below. And thank you so much for watching. See you next time.